beginning his ministry, right? And uh, so he had an older gentleman that, uh, you know, he was mentor, uh, mentoring the younger, younger pastor. So he's going to have his first wedding. And um, so he says, well, I, you know, I'm really nervous about this. And, and the older gentleman says, well, he said, I understand that. And he uh, said, whenever you get to a point, maybe you lose your place in the service or whatever, he says, what I always do is just think of a scripture, and I quote it, and it kind of gets me back on, on, on course. So he said, oh, okay. So fine. So sure enough, you know, the day came, the, the wedding and all was going on, and he got to a point where he just lost, you know, he forgot where he was. So he thought what the older pastor had told him, and he said, oh, yeah. He said, a scripture. So he said, okay. He said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. <laughs> <laughs> so, so uh, I don't know if they knew, didn't know what they were doing when they got married, but it worked out. Amen. <laughs> Amen. 50 years later, golden anniversary. Congratulations. That's awesome. Uh, can't help but uh, think of Randy and Karen. First and foremost comes to my heart is friends, lifelong friends, forever kind of friends, friends that are in your heart that you love uh, in a unique, special way. Servants, they've always been servants of the Lord. That's, uh, that's just who they are. Um, Maybe Karen even more than Randy. <laughs> but I don't mean that. Really, no, 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 no. You're you a servant too. Uh, Karen, you could just always, well, you could depend on both of them. And I think about that. that they're dependable. Dependable. They're, uh, they're committed. Committed to the Lord. They're committed to one another. In 50 years of marriage, you don't do that easy. <laughs> you don't do that easy. Of course you didn't. <laughs> Uh, it's, me and Nancy have talked many times, and uh, we've we've been married now 57 years. Next month, and, mm. uh, to make it that long, you you uh, it's a miracle. It's a miracle of God. It just is. It's a miracle of God. Um, I love y'all, um, and I just believe the Lord would say to you right now, "Well done, well done, thou good." And faithful servants. Look at this. Look around you. And I know this, this, this is part of it. <laughs> but uh, you've set an example for your family. That is a godly example. That's a sacred example. That helps to sanctify their lives. And obviously you understood when you did this. Or maybe you didn't. But you, you did later. <laughs> that you were cutting covenant on that day. Not making a contract, but cutting a covenant with God and with one another. And a covenant's altogether different than a contract. And thank you for living together in marriage by the grace of God for 50 years. Well done. Well done, thou good. But, uh, you've learned to forgive one another, I guess, in that many years, haven't you? <laughs> you yeah. You've learned to resolve some conflict, haven't you? Oh, it's been a battle royal. <laughs> you know, we don't talk about it, but but you've learned to forbear with one another's faults. And then, by the grace of God, overlook those faults and be committed in love to God first and foremost, but to each other. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, we've come together today to uh, renew the vows between Randy and Kaylin Scott in uh, their covenant of marriage. Uh, the Lord said in Genesis chapter 2, he caused a deep sleep to come upon Adam, and he slept. He took one of his ribs, he closed up the flesh, and the rib which the Lord God had taken from man made he a woman and brought her unto the man. And Adam said, This is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman because she was taken out of man. Therefore shall a man leave his father and mother, cleave unto his wife, 
and they shall become one flesh. It's not so much what you were at the day you got married, but what you've allowed God to let your marriage become. That's so, so important. And I thank you for allowing God to let y'all be so committed to Him and one another that your marriage is still becoming. It's still becoming. Even after 50 years, it's still becoming. It's still becoming. Uh, marriage is a gift from God. Y'all know that. It's a blessing from the Father. Uh, Apostle Paul use the relationship of marriage to compare it to the relationship between Christ and His church. How beautiful and how intimate that relationship is. There's no more intimate relationship on earth than a relationship between a husband and a wife. No. And it's beautiful. Uh, Jesus, his, his first miracle was where? At a marriage. At a marriage. At a wedding. In the Cana of Galilee. He did a miracle when he married you all, didn't he? <laughs> As he did for all of us. Amen? Oh, me. Uh, the scripture commands the covenant of marriage to be held in honor among all people. Marriage is to be founded upon mutual trust, mutual service, and mutual sacrifice. Where each spouse unselfishly desires to meet the need of the other, which results really in true joy, satisfaction, and fulfillment. A Christian marriage is a covenant between husband and wife, established by God the Father, submitted to the Lordship of Christ, sustained by the Holy Spirit, and enriched by the very Word of God. Amen. <laughs> Uh, the Bible teaches us that God is love and that love comes from God. From beginning to end, the Bible is a love story. There we read of God's love for His people, of the great love that sent Christ to the cross, that redeeming love for the sinner and His abiding love for the redeemed. God has graciously brought Randy and Karen through 50 years of this covenant and He's blessed you And he's blessed your love for one another. Therefore, I encourage you both in the presence of God in this company to fill your marriage, to continue to fill it with that love, that unselfish love described for us in 1 Corinthians 13 where it says love suffers long. Karen, you know about that. <laughs> <laughs> and is kind. Love doesn't envy. Does not boast. It's not proud. Love is not rude. It's not self-seeking. It's not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrong. Love thinks no evil, but rejoices with the truth. Love always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always endures. Love never, 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 never <laughs> fails. Amen. 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 Randy. Do you renew your prominence and commitment to your wife, Karen, to love and cherish her, to be faithful to her, to protect and serve her, to honor and pray for her according to the ordinance of God? If so, please answer, I will. I will. Karen, do you promise, do you renew your promise and commitment to your husband, Randy, to be faithful to him? To love and respect him, to serve him and encourage him, to pray for him according to the ordinance of God. If so, please answer. I will. I will. Randy, if you would please repeat after me. I renew my promise. I renew my promise. And covenant before God. And covenant before God. In this company. In this company. To be your loving. 
be your loving and faithful husband and faithful husband from this day forward from this day forward when prosperity our need and prosperity your need and joy or sorrow and joy or sorrow in sickness or health in sickness or health as long as long as we both shall as we live. both shall live amen Karen, if you would repeat after me i renew my promise I renew my promise and covenant before God and covenant before God in this company and this company to be your loving to be your loving and faithful wife and faithful wife from this day forward from this day forward in prosperity or need in prosperity or need in joy or sorrow in joy or sorrow in sickness or health in sickness or health as long as we both shall live as long as we both shall live all right are you going to do rings no no, no, no. Yeah, okay. Well, let's pray. <laughs> Y'all can join hands if you want. Okay. <laughs> oh, dear Jesus, where would we be had it not been the Lord on our side? <laughs> Glory to God. Oh, I know where I'd be, Lord. I'd be dead and in hell. Oh, praise your name for your amazing grace. How sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. For I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. Lord, I love Randy and Karen and their family with all my heart. Special friends, Lord. Not just friends, but special friends for a lifetime. Nothing, nothing, nothing but good memories are in my heart and in my soul with Randy and Karen and their family. God, thank you for this day. Oh, it's a special day, Lord, a glorious day. I believe you're watching over the portals of heaven saying, well done, my children, well done. You are my good and you're my faithful servant. God, I pray you would be pleased to continue just to pour out blessing upon them and their family. I pray it would please your heart, God, to just open the windows of heaven and pour out divine favor upon them and upon their family. And Lord, I thank you for the, the grace that you've given them all these many years to endure through trials, through troubles, through tribulations, through struggles through problems, through it all, it has been Jesus that has kept them and brought them to this place right now. And Lord, I pray just as you did at the wedding at Cana of Galilee, you took water and made it into wine. God, I pray in Jesus' name you would do something new and fresh in their marriage, in their relationship with you and each other, that you would blow fresh wind upon them and through them and in them and to them and to their family that you would just give them a fresh joy a fresh blessing father and just a fresh breath from heaven that would fill their souls and their hearts god thank you for their family i pray blessing upon each and every one of them here today I pray, God, it's been a joy to meet them today, Lord. Some of them I didn't know, and I know now. And they're part of my heart, just like Randy and Karen are in my heart, God. They're in my heart, and they'll never leave, no matter the distance that may be between us geographically. They're in my heart forever, and I give you praise. It humbles me, and I thank you for Jennifer. I really do for calling us given us this privilege and this opportunity to be here today. And God, I thank you for 50 years of, of, of marriage. And Lord, I only you know how many years yet to come. I don't know. But God, I pray you would be pleased to just shine your countenance upon them. Father, to, 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 to just to give them grace upon grace upon grace. Lord, I learned a long time ago that something's better than grace and that's more grace. <laughs> so give them some more grace, God. Some more grace and some more grace. And we thank you, Lord. We praise you. Blessed be the name of the Lord who only doeth wondrous things. 
and they're beyond our finding out. We give you the glory, the praise, and the honor for it all. In Jesus' name, amen. You've come together today before God and this company to renew your sacred covenant of marriage by exchanging promises of love and devotion to God and one another. Therefore, by the authority to commit it unto me as an ordained minister of the church, I pronounce the marriage between Randy and Karen Scott renewed <laughs> in spirit, soul, and body in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Randy, you may kiss your...